Uh, with record rounds at Hillcrest Country Club this year, uh, I'm going to share a couple tricks we use. Uh, one of them is uh, using pigments on greens. And it's basically like a green dye that we use about 15 ounces per acre. Uh, we spray it on the green and it's a, it's a darker color. It kind of masks some, maybe some imperfections during the winter. And one thing it de definitely does is it improves plant health. And it, it could be doing that by reflecting certain wavelengths of light. Uh, it could be raising the soil temp up a little bit. We, we don't know for sure. We, what we do know is next year we'll have about a two week green up by using green pigments during the winter. And again, it's just a small little bit uh, a couple times during the winter time or, or late fall. And uh, it really improves things for next year. Another trick we're using is using compost. It's, it's been a few years since we used compost wall to wall on the, on the golf course. And uh, we're, we're doing it this year, again, with the record rounds and, and we're, we're seeing some worn out areas, some worn out turf. And again, the dark color we think helps warm the soil. We think the biologically active soil helps, helps uh, warm the soil. And we'll have a, a probably at least a two week green up on that. I mean, we, we've seen in the past where, you know, we, we had places that we skipped or missed. And it, I mean, this would be like brown over here and then over here would be bright green. Uh, and again, that's that early spring green up is what we want and going after. But that's just a couple tricks we're using this year and uh, to finish out the year and uh, it, all in preparation for next year.